Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today I'm showing you the biggest Play-Doh toy I have ever bought. It is the Crate and Store Big Bucket. This obviously is a huge Play-Doh bucket with a handle for easy carrying, and it looks just like a Play-Doh can. Now inside, first we have this storage container. It has a nice lid so you can make something and then store it inside so that way you don't have to smush up your Play-Doh. And on the other side, it has nice molds. Let's see what else we have here in our giant bucket. Here's another storage container, but this is where you can put your tools. And on the other side, we have tons and tons of Play-Doh molds. And on the very, very bottom, we've got some cookie cutters and a playmat. And wait a minute, no Play-Doh. I'm really surprised there's no Play-Doh in this set. But let's open up this bag here and let's see what cookie cutters we get. The first cutter I have is a tree, so I'm going to flatten out some dark green Play-Doh and some brown Play-Doh for the trunk. We'll rip off the extra Play-Doh and this is pretty simple. Got a nice tree here. The next cookie cutter shape that we're going to use here is this crown and I'm going to make it with yellow Play-Doh. And we can't have a king's crown without some jewels, so I'm going to add some here. A little purple jewel, and then blue, and we'll make a pattern just using purple and blue. And next we have a whale. I really like this one. It's simple. We'll just make him a blue whale. Punch him out, and we just need to give him an eye. And then we'll move on to another ocean animal, a seahorse. And this set even comes with an Easter Bunny cookie cutter. And for the Easter Bunny's face, I'm going to add two small brown circular eyes, and then some whiskers, and a tiny, cute, adorable pink nose. The last cookie cutter shape I have is this magical unicorn, which we'll make in pink. I'm just going to add a little purple eye, and now I have my little unicorn. Nay! Did the unicorn say nay? I don't know. Now going back to the bucket itself, you can store seven cans of Play-Doh in the bottom of the bucket, which is really nice. I can also store some of my Play-Doh tools and cookie cutters. And then for this container, I can store some of my mixed up Play-Doh. I normally store it in a plastic bag because I don't have any extra Play-Doh containers, but this giant container works perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is use one of these molds. There's a lot of pretty things, but I'll make the flower with pink Play-Doh. And then I'll add a little orange dot in the middle of the flower. Now the other layer has a lot of different molds, and some of them are alien related, either aliens or UFOs, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen that before in a Play-Doh set, so I'm going to build us a UFO. And ta-da! Here's our UFO! This set also came with this nice Play-Doh mat with a lot of cute pictures of Play-Doh ideas, and I say let's build a dinosaur! And just to be different, instead of making a blue dinosaur, I'll make a purple one. What we want to do is with our hands mold out the body and take out some of the Play-Doh to form the tail. Then next we'll mold out the head and neck together in one piece. And then mold out four pieces for the dinosaur's legs. And of course put the legs underneath the dinosaur. And oh no, this dinosaur can't see. We've got to make him some ice. So just press on some white and blue circles for the ice. Then in my hand, I'll roll out some pink Play-Doh for the mouth. And we'll give the dinosaur some spots too. So just flatten out some green circles and stick it to his body. And here's our cute little dinosaur. He's kind of a cross between Dino and Barney. And here's everything that we made today with our Play-Doh crate and store big bucket. Click on a picture to watch another fun Play-Doh video, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.